Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you a John Lewis slash B&M haul. Two completely different retailers but with stuff that I like. I won a John Lewis voucher last year for writing a blog post. It was an e-cover post, I don't know if you read it, but um, I just uh, my post got chosen by Brick Mums to win the voucher, woohoo! So I was really excited to take Lily, I was waiting for January sales, I thought let me check out what's in the sales and use my voucher to pay for it. So we went to Reading and um, I thought I'd look at kids clothing, I thought maybe I'll get some new clothes. But actually the clothing was slightly boring, it was slightly wasn't really boring. Browns, you know, just not colourful stuff, you know how I like colourful stuff. But luckily the school wear section was half price. And Tyler's trousers got torn this week. I was so annoyed. He has MS trousers that I thought it would last the whole year. No, he keeps falling over, so his knee has a hole in it. So I had to buy school trousers. So these, they had one left in his size, but this is four to five, but it's the right length for him. And it was only four pounds in John Lewis. So he's going to be probably the only kid at his school that's got John Lewis trousers, a bit posh. I mean, they're quite thin compared to his MS ones, but not really thin. So. It might be their basic range. It's pleated, um, regular leg. You know how I don't like I don't like those slim fit legs. They're just like regular legs, elasticated. It was normally eight pounds, so down to four pounds. And let me show you. Look, John Lewis, <laughs> posh school trousers. So that was our, my first purchase because I was disappointed with the actual children's wear department. Then I went to look at towels because I've been wanting to buy new towels for the new year, new year, new start, new towels. Because you know how they get tatty and grey and stuff. So I went to the, into the towel department. There were so many towels, I was a bit lost actually. You got normal cotton blend, Egyptian cotton, Pima cotton, whatever. So many different types of cottons and different prices. And then, I don't know if you find my Instagram stories, but I shared a photo of a fox towel from John Lewis that I thought I really wanted. And when I saw it close up, it's £32 by the way for one bath sheet of this fox towel, a cool fox print. A close up, it just looked like a beach towel. It was thin, velvet tea on the top. So I was like, oh my god, thank god I didn't spend £32 on this rubbish towel. So in the end, after going around loads of times, luckily Lily was in a good mood and thought it was amusing, we went for Egyptian cotton um, and it's so soft. It's not the cheapest one. The cheapest um, bath towel in John Lewis was um, £10. Or, no, it was £11 for just plain cotton blend. And this was £16 for Egyptian cotton. Soft and long lasting, woven with the finest authentic Egyptian cotton. The way they do it, they, they have weights. So this one's 700 GSM. So the cheaper one was 600 GSM, I think. So this one's a bit thicker and it feels like luxury. I went for white because I like that hotel feel. I want to feel like every day at home. I'm in a hotel, especially because we're in a new build, so our bathroom's really nice, nicely tiled, so it makes me feel like, yeah, uh, every day's nice, and it is so soft, so I'm really happy with this, I've got one for me, and one for my husband, £16 each, so that comes to 32 and then I went into the duvet section, I thought, let me look if, if they have any nice duvets, but you know, lately I like white duvets with a print, you know, it looks good on Instagram, <laughs> but um, yeah, look at this, this is the best duvet ever, it's, it was in the kids' department and it's the double duvet because I find it hard to find nice duvets for Tyler and Lily's room because they've got a double bed and everything's single so to find a double duvet oh here she is come you can come tick look do you want to talk to the camera <laughs> yeah this has got construction vehicles taxi high speed train bus that's not a high speed train another taxi high speed train these are the essentials for Tyler's duvet. He can't wait to put it on. He's like, Mummy, can we put it on now? And I was like, I've got to do this video first, you know. So anyway, it, it looks so nice. Let me show you. I'll take out a pillowcase so you can see how nice the print is. It feels posh. It's John Lewis, you know. Proper nice thick cotton. Um, yeah, look at this print. I really love it. I loved what caught my eye was the bus, but then I saw the high speed train. So they're going to love this more than their tube map duvet, I think. And yeah, it was £20 down to 10 so that's our first John Lewis duvet, so I'm feeling very posh. So all of that came to 32 42 plus 4 £46 off my gift card. So I've still got 50 around £50 to spend, so I'll save that for another day, because that did it all in one go. So I'm really happy with my John Lewis haul, although I must admit it was quite hard shopping there, because when you go in, everything's all over the place, different floors, so, you know... I wouldn't shop there every day. Um, and then next I'll show you my B&M haul. I went in there um, 
early this week after her rhyme time at the library and I wanted to just get some photo frames because um, we have two photos that are not framed and um, so I'll show you them here. We have Tyler's school photo from last year which now is in a nice box frame. A box frame is where the photos are a little further back so it's got that sort of 3D effect and I, what I did, it already his photo already had this um, mount on it so I cut the mount to fit the frame so his photos behind and this scanned at the tilt at only 149 this this frame so it at the moment we have it on our shelf hanging but I've got the option to hang it off the wall and then our other photo onto the frame was the one from our Christmas experience um so yeah this one um was 3.99 I forgot what size it is because it's really it was really tricky I was there for ages trying to work out the size because you got seven by five eight by six or whatever because I wanted the mount to go around the photo so the photo itself six by eight I think so the frame is eight by ten yeah and the same for Tyler's one his photo is seven by five so the frame had to be eight by six yeah got that right it's very complicated fun photo frames but yeah there we go and impulse purchase oh my god there's a troll's dress up it came with a headband too which is on, on the shelf but most dress up outfits are bigger they're like four to five five to six and lily's obviously not even two yet so this is age three to four but it, actually it's very um tight fitting so this will actually fit her when she's two and yeah when i when she was sleeping when um when i shopped but when she woke up she was so happy to see this and then also that was 7.99 also i got her these gloves which are way too big for her it was two for 2.99 oh here she is <laughs> yeah tell tell everyone how much you love these gloves oh my god she loves them she wants to put them on when i go for the school run to pick up tyler and she's in the buggy she wants these on her hands they're too big she can't get her fingers in them because they're massive on her but she likes to look at poppy she even told one of my mum friends she was showing her blood going pa, 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 and i was like amazed because she doesn't talk to anyone normally so it's a big deal getting these gloves so that that's two pairs of gloves for 2.99 proper bargain um I'm sure I've got something else from being Oh yeah, the other thing I got, I really wanted a new hot water bottle. Because I had this little one, um, it's about half the size, so I want a proper size one, a nice knitted one with this, you know, I got this called Hig or Hig, that, that Scandinavian warm comforting thing about having chunky knits and feeling all cosy. So I got this, it was 5 99 so not on sale, full price. It came in a nice display box, which I've since chucked because it was a proper box. But if it was a gift, that's a nice box that it came in. Um, yeah, so that was my B&M haul and my John Lewis haul. What did you like best from what I bought? What did I like best? <laughs> I think this definitely, I can't wait to put it on. Oh no, I like this best. Oh, actually, I don't know. I like everything. I like my hot water bottle. Ah! Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching that. And if you liked it, please like and subscribe. Do you do the down below sign? I also crap these end credit things. But yeah, please like and subscribe. And I'll come back with another video in two weeks. I'm trying to do this every two weeks. So it's a regular video. <laughs> yeah, there's a fact. Please don't break them. Whew. All right then. Bye-bye.